All right, Torture Talk, man. I wanted to get into this real quick. Trump gets nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, before we get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate to the uh, Cash App and PayPal is in the description. Thanks, everybody, for all the donations. Uh, I really appreciated it. It really helps me out. Best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. You know? And let's talk about it, man. So, back in 2009, Barack Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize. And he was kind of uh, <laughs> surprised he won, actually. And a lot of people was... I think a lot of people was surprised. Barack Obama was uh, a good... He was a good good man i should say in 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 his respect uh regard i guess you know uh and i guess people seen that and he won now and i think he won because of uh his, his uh strengthening diplomacy uh throughout you know the middle east on the world and uh and, uh, you know, just bringing people together, the, the idea of bringing people together. So I guess that's why he won. Uh, I read up on it, and maybe I couldn't find the exact reason why he won. I think that's what I came up with. So um, that's what it was. Now, Donald Trump has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. And a lot of people are upset about this. Because they say, well, how is Donald Trump how is Donald Trump nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize when he's a bigot, when he is inciting riots, when the country is in turmoil and everybody's burning everything? How is he nominated? See, again, a lot of people listen to mainstream news too much, man. I swear. You guys... The mainstream media is not telling y'all nothing. They're just telling y'all what y'all want to hear. They're not telling y'all. Don't you find it kind of strange that the mainstream media always said something negative about Donald Trump? If Donald Trump is the president and unemployment rates was down and uh, 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 I don't know, we never, we haven't been in any wars. And he's did things that a lot of presidents have done. This hasn't done at all. Don't you think it's kind of strange that they're always trying to find dirt? They try to impeach him. That didn't work. Uh, uh, they, 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 they did this whole Russian scandal. They didn't find anything. Don't you think it's kind of weird that every time y'all turn around, there's something negative about Donald Trump? But you don't question why, if this man is the president, he hasn't done anything right. Everything is wrong. Even though the country was doing really well before the whole pandemic. Y'all don't, don't ask yourself these questions like, well, how the hell is like every time you turn around, Trump said this or President Trump thinks this or President Trump or President Trump. You don't find it kind of funny that the uh, the mainstream media, Don Lemon and all these these uh, Cuomo's brother, all these people, they basically get on there and say your president is a racist. You don't think that's kind of funny? Like you never seen this in politics where uh, the, they come out and say this to the American people because they want to feed y'all this garbage and y'all just eat it. Yeah, eat it all up. Nobody actually questions why are they saying this? Oh, the president said to drink bleach. Oh, the president said to go vote twice. <laughs> no one questions this. And it's like, Every time, you know what the crazy part is? Every time you correct somebody about Donald Trump, 
they always have another argument. They'll be like, well, I don't believe that. Well, he, he only reason why he said that. he would be like, well, no, he said that before that. Well, nah, he's still, nah, he's still. Because y'all are being controlled, like for real. So, Donald Trump gets nominated for Nobel Peace Prize. And you gotta ask yourself, why is Donald Trump getting nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize? This is bullshit. There's no way he should be able to get nominated. This is crazy. Crazy. But you ask yourself, why? Then you go and look it up. Now, I'm not gonna tell you why, because I want you to go look it up. Y'all go look it up. I know why. Y'all go look it up. And y'all see why. Now, here's the thing too. Every time you disagree with someone, whether it's Donald Trump or whatever, the first thing you guys say is, well, that's not a credible source. I don't believe that. So let's let's go through let's go through why why now I'm not gonna tell y'all I'm gonna tell y'all oh fuck it I'll tell y'all why I'll tell y'all I'll give y'all my version of why and then y'all can look it up too so <clears throat> coronavirus the virus pandemic Donald Trump and his team comes up with a whole four phase thing which. All the states follow. Now, let's be clear. <clears throat> a lot of y'all think that Donald Trump really this all this the, the the COVID and the whole thing falls on Donald Trump. And to some degree, it does. But see, I'm gonna tell y'all where he gets where he gets a pass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where he gets a pass on some things. Had a drink, sorry. Well, he gets a pass. Uh, all of the governors, every one of the governors, every one of them is on record thanking the president for his handling of the pandemic. Now, they could, they could, they could do it all now for politics and say, oh, oh, he's, it's, this is on Donald Trump. Da, 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 da. They could do all that because they don't want to be responsible for it. But <clears throat> we know how it goes. Federal, state, local. So Donald Trump is not in, he's not in charge of the local government and the uh, state government. So the states have to do what they have to do. So if you're thinking the president, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're thinking the president for everything he has done. But then now you're telling me that it's his fault. I have to call you out on that because it's not. That's number one. Number two, Donald Trump basically closed the deal on a lot of things that happened in the Middle East. Now, I'm not going to go into what he did because I want you to look it up. So, he closed the deal on a lot of that. Now, some people say, oh, well, Biden taking credit for it. And then you had some of the leaders, the world leaders of those countries come out and say, no, Obama and Biden didn't do none of this. That could be another reason. Another reason is he doesn't really fit the narrative of what politicians usually do. So for example, the, uh, $300 from the federal government. And he says, listen, I'm going to give the people the money because they need it. You guys out here playing games. We're going to give the people the money. And he went over their head and just did it. It's another reason. It's a couple of reasons why, you know, the, the, he cut the taxes as far as uh, payroll taxes, uh, as far as the, uh, the, uh, he signed another bill, or not? He signed another executive order to stop people from getting evicted. You know, 
It's a bunch of different things that he has done. Now, some people say, well, he was supposed to do that. Yeah. And that doesn't mean that he st still shouldn't be nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize because he's supposed to do it. That's what it is. Like, So, do I think Donald Trump deserved to be nominated? Of course he deserved to be nominated. Of course. Of course Donald Trump deserves to be nominated. And I'm happy he's nominated. And I think that they know that he deserves this. They know he deserves it. They can say whatever they want. People can say whatever they want. The Democrats could be outraged. But Obama, when he when he won the award, he was surprised. He didn't even really even understand why he won. Now, some people would say he deserved it too. I would say that the ideology of Obama being the first black president uh, to me is what kind of got him that award. You know, um, that's just how I feel about that. But of course, Trump deserves this. I think Trump, Trump, Trump is one of those people that when he first got into office, he did he didn't really know too much. Trump is, and I hate, and I, and I, and I hate to tell y'all this, and I know y'all going to be mad. I know some of y'all in the comments going to say Trump is an is a very intelligent person, whether it's intelligent wise when it comes to running things, because a lot of y'all think when y'all say intelligent, y'all think brain surgeon. Trump's not a brain surgeon, you know, y'all think a uh, astrophysicist or uh, a scientist who uh, create uh Jet pro uh, propulsion while uh, propelling rockets or whatever. I don't know. Some of y'all think that that's what it is. But if you are in your field and you're good at your field, I think Trump is he play. He's he is a master manipulator when it comes to making people believe that he's stupid. Now, Trump, again, does things that keeps people talking he already trump already makes the media does what he wants he's not stupid he's a very calculated person where he'll say yeah let me do this i'll do this and watch they go crazy i'll pretend to do this and i'll just keep them over there so i believe that trump definitely deserves this award I'm going to say that he deserved the nomination. I have to see who else is nominated. But from what I see, his handling of this whole thing, it, they, would, they said that the country was going to take years to come back. Years. And Donald Trump has brought the country, I ain't going to say back, but things have gotten better fast very fast to the point where a lot of these democratic run states are dragging this out they're dragging the, the pandemic out because they really have nothing else to run off of except for the mail-in ballots and all that stuff so again i think he deserves it torture talk like share subscribe to the page you know what it is listen man i think that People need to learn a little more about Donald Trump. Stop being so biased. Especially us as black people. Don't let the mainstream media and a lot of these black celebrities who don't know nothing tell you that Donald Trump's a racist or he's a bigot. And if you're going to say, well, every president was a racist, every white person is a racist. Well, if that's your argument then maybe you should learn a little more about Donald Trump and maybe you should give him a shot because to me, if everybody was a racist, I mean, either you do one or two things, either you don't vote for him or you look into what can you get out of this person. And from what I, from my understanding is, Donald Trump's not a racist. I haven't seen any definitive proof of that towards black people. I say Donald Trump isn't, he's an a-hole sometimes. I always say that. But the 
that's towards everybody. It's not just anybody. He talks about everybody. So, with that being said, Torture Talk, like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is, man.